a mystery box made for geeks. What's inside the Z box for March 2019? Yes, what is inside the Z-Box? A mystery box made for geeks, which includes collectibles, figures, t-shirts, pins, and so much more. We're gonna go ahead and get this opened up. Without further ado, I'm gonna grab a knife right off the bat. And uh, the only place that there is seemingly to be tape is just on the front here. Everywhere else seems without tape, sans la tape. So we know right off the bat, the only way to access and get into the Z-Box is to cut the tape on the front, open it up and see what we got inside. Z-Box is always packed to the brim with a whole bunch of cool collectibles and let's hope this box is no exception. First and foremost, seems to me that we got ourselves a t-shirt and I'm all about those t-shirts. Let's see what we got here. Oh. They must know I'm a big fan of Justice League. Uh, this is the Justice League t-shirt. That's pretty cool. It's got Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman. Uh, down below, uh, that is Cyborg. I didn't recognize it right off the bat. Aquaman and Flash. And just double checking the size here. Size seems good. Okay, all right. Sometimes when you get these t-shirts, you get them mistakenly the wrong size or misleadingly one size that you may think may fit you you put it on and you feel like it was made for children. Small, tiny, little children. But that looks like that's gonna fit, that's perfect. Also inside, we got ourselves a Lord of the Rings bottle. And it's made of plastic on the back side. You got one ring to roll them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all in. Uh, the darkness bind them. Oh, to bring them all in and in the darkness bind them. That's pretty cool. Uh, is it plastic? Maybe it's not plastic, let's open this up. It feels like it could be metal. It looks like it's metal. Hello, hello. Feels like it's metal. And uh, we've got a little straw that can attach to the top. This is actually gonna come in handy because while it may seem like we're never gonna be done winter here in Canada, eventually right around the corner, it seems like we have winter and we have hot summer. We don't seem to have fall and spring anymore. Those two things don't seem to exist anymore. Uh, with summer coming up, it's always nice to have yourself a beverage. When you feel a little parched, I can put my water in there and carry that around and I feel like I'm ruling a kingdom. Inside as well, we've got the Gamerverse, Hala the Accuser from Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the vinyl bobblehead and it is number 278 from the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. That's what it looks like on the back. It seems to be only three characters available. There's Leela, there's Rocket, and Gamora. Collect them all. It also says Gamerverse down below. Telltale series, I guess, is a game. Very unfamiliar by the whole concept of it. I know there's Telltale games for Walking Dead, is that correct? You can clearly see that what's spinning out of my mouth is uh, indecisive, not certain knowledge. So it could be very well wrong with that. 278, though. I guess is of a bigger spectrum if we're gonna have 278. It's probably under the pop games, which is what 278 is from. That's probably why you only need three, see three characters, four, I guess, technically that one as well, four characters on the back. Uh, there you go. Uh, nice, nice little metallic outfit here. You know, I'm normally not too keen on uh, vinyl pops, unless there's a certain character that catches my fancy. I do kind of like the design on this one though, I have to admit. Put that over there. Oh, we got ourselves a figure. Before we do that, though, we've got a Darth Vader gift set. Gift set includes a collar, two, what's a Pulsera? A necklace, dog tag, and bracelet band. What is a Pulsera? I'm reading that right. Collar and two Pulseras. What is that? I guess it's something that you put onto your wrists. I guess. One says Vader, one says Darth Vader, and then we, of course, clearly we've got the dog tag. I guess unless, is that possible that that is not English? And down below is its necklace dog tag and two bracelet bands. I'm probably looking at a, even though it, I would think it would have, it would have been the opposite, but I guess it would be a necklace dog tag and two bracelet bands. I keep looking on the back, hoping that there's going to be some help on the back, but there's no help. Uh, there's no help. No help to be found. This caught my attention. 
This is the Wonder Woman, Justice League Gods and Mon uh, Monsters Wonder Woman. Now, I did actually do a review of this long time ago. Can't even remember how long time ago that was. And uh, that's pretty cool that we got this inside. Uh, Superman and the Batman I also did reviews of back in the day. But I mean, going back, as I would love to do with a lot of these figures that I reviewed and have just misplaced over the years... Certainly would love to go back and re-review figures like this. It's almost as like the universe knew and just blessed that upon me. Uh, truthfully, though, of the three, I think I would have loved this Superman once again. But beggars can't be certainly choosers. I love the fact that we get ourselves a Wonder Woman. And that's not too bad at all. Anybody would say, well, the value of these things, like the figures, for example, you probably can get this for next to nothing. Yes, but to get a figure inside a mystery box, I'm always all about... I'm all about getting free figures inside, technically, even though you, you know, subscribe to the service. That's pretty cool, though. The My favorite thing, as I normally like to do when we have a look at these unboxings, hmm, kind of digging the t-shirt, but I think, I think points might be given, might be awarded to the Justice League Gods and Monsters figure number three, Wonder Woman. What do you think is the best item inside this box? Let me know down below. If you guys are also interested in subscribing to the Z Box, the mystery box made for geeks. And by the way, did we did a, we didn't get a card inside? I did believe this was, and still continue to believe that this is from March 2019. I might be incorrect. Uh, if you guys have picked up this box for yourself, let me know what month it is. I want to think it's March. I very well could be wrong though. And make sure as well you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, because we've got lots of reviews coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys, as you always do, and I'll see you guys next time.